Hey, what's up? It's your boy A to the K to the K, Alexander Kinkwami, and welcome to Hoodie Studios. So, this tutorial is about Meta Human Chaos Cloth. So, if you really want to understand this tutorial, you have to go and check our previous tutorial where we talked about Chaos Clothing. So, this is just more like a part two of this tutorial, okay? So, before we just get into it, I want to say big shout outs to all our patrons. You can go and check our Patreon page and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right, let's just get inside. Okay, so this is our meta human. Yeah, and um, we will have to start with the chaos cloth panel now if you don't understand any of these notes here and how I got the cloth panel I repeat again go and check the previous tutorial now that will get you to understand a lot now on the previous tutorial we ended up um, with um, a weight paint and this will not um, give you the cloth simulation the cloth moving on its own uh, let me show you this is what I mean so I will just bring in an F med body weight so I will go in for um, any form of animation that um, we can get let me try um, so um mf walk forward so when i put that in um let me okay so i will just pass it okay so you see what's happening yeah you see what's happening now this is happening one i mean to tell you this is where we got the other time with the queen yeah, but this is the meta human, so we need some cloth um, movement in here, okay? And yeah, I w our collision is not also right, so we have to fix all of that, okay? So um, I'll just stop the animation and I'll take the animation off. So this is what we have, just like this okay so we will have to drop some notes to actually go in and connect to these three notes here so connect to simulation collision config and set physics asset physics asset and cloth asset terminal so we will have to go we have to connect all our notes to that now the first note we are gonna drop will be uh I think simulation um max distance that's gonna be the first node that we are gonna drop so i will connect the add weight map i'll connect it to this guy here yeah. okay and um mostly i won't do much here i'll just leave it just as it is and i will try and save so we will have to get our second node which um, will be um simulation bpd bending spring config so i'll drop in this one here and matter of fact let's just pause this one because we just want to get down with this then we move then we try and simulate it okay so we will drop in our third node um, which will be simulation B PBD area spring config all right so we will drop our fourth node um, and uh, it's gonna be simulation B P B D edge spring config. 
so just like that and we will drop our fifth node um, which is simulation aerodynamics config and I will leave again I will leave everything to the default and we are gonna drop our sixth node which is simulation dampen config okay so we have one last node we have to drop so we will drop our last node um, which is simulation solver config okay so um we will have to uh, let me bring these guys here we will have to connect this last node um, simulation solver config to the simulation collision config now in simulation collision config this one you can change your collision thickness um, friction coefficient yeah you can change both of them and set physics asset now here um, in the previous tutorial we had uh, let me show you it was this guy PA mannequin but we don't need that so we are gonna go in for F med F underscore med now rate body physics now this will also depend on your body type of your meta human all right so we will drop we will connect our last node to this guy okay so this is what we have now this is what we have yeah it's cool crazy but at least we have something but we have to um, make it more accurate now to do that we'll have to go to the simulation server config and for the number of sub steps I'll make it five okay and now we are getting something okay so the number of sub steps actually changed okay, so let me show you so from one okay to five okay so there's another problem that we are actually facing you can actually see that um, our collision on the meta human is not that good and not that accurate so what we are gonna do is we'll go to the set physics asset and I will just go in for where I'll browse to where our physics asset is so I'll double click so when you double click you will get this one here now when we come in here you realize we have this this is the um, collision collision around our meta human and that's not what we want so let me just pause it and let me get let me get into here so this is where we are gonna change some things so the primitive type I will actually make it a single convex hull and um, actually the minimum bone the minimum the main bone size I will change it to something like five and I will come to the max hull vert and I will change it to something like um, 42 so I will say generate all bodies so it's, it's actually gonna take some time to um, generate the collision so let's just wait for a while so after the wait for like one minute um, 30 seconds we have this collision now this one is the accurate collision for our meta human so I will just save and I will go to the cloth panel and now check this we had this so that's why I try to um, toggle um, suspend the simulation so we have this now check it when I try to um, bring it on again so I was now okay you see you see we have um, it's fitting on our meta human so cool okay so this is where 
you can actually start to um, give your animations and start simulating for your meta humans so let's get to the animation part and I'll show you how to get everything running for the meta human but before we get to the animation part I would not suggest you use this for game playing unless maybe you have a crazy um, machine running I mean I don't know but I believe this wasn't actually made at the moment for meta human gaming so it's actually for the bp um, bp mannequin but not for meta human gaming for simulation if you really want to use the meta human gaming then we will have to skip all these nodes remember this node that we just made skip all these nodes and just connect the add weight paint to the end of our node which will actually lose all this um the cloth the real cloth simulation but for the bp you can connect all these um seven nodes and at the end of the day you'll get your cloth simulation with the bp but for the meta human i will not advise that so yeah so to actually get it on the meta human is pretty simple you just have to go to your meta human you just um, click on your meta human and here you go to add and you add um, a cloth so yeah chaos cloth component I already have it so it's down here chaos cloth component and um, yeah here for cloth asset you just click and you just add your cloth asset so yeah this is it now when you try to simulate it will actually give you some problems so this is how i did it so first we need to get an animation for our meta human now to get an animation this is how you're gonna do it i mean you can do it in so many ways but um you have to mostly i use the mixamo converter so for the mixamo converter i will um just um enter the conversion process and i will go in for this um queen unreal engine mannequin now when we go in for that yeah this folder will pop up and this is the queen i used for the previous tutorial so i didn't actually export a queen from unreal engine actually i used this one from um the converter for the from the unreal for the uh, meta human converter so this is why you take to uh, make demo and you will just get your animation from make demo now when you get your animation you just um put place it into this folder and you just click here to convert the animation and when you have you are done converting the animation you can see i have a lot of animations here i've already converted they will be they will be in this folder so you see this is the folder and when you when you are done converting it you have it into this folder if you don't convert it it won't work yeah so you just drop it into your um into any folder that you have here which is gonna be your animation folder you just drop it in um, I have mine in here so you can see I have all these animations so we'll just go to uh, let me check our sequencer now let me take it back so in my sequencer you see I have uh, my animations in here okay so let me show you let me tell you what's going on now this animation is being stretched out this animation is being stretched out um let me show you how under properties when we go to um play rate it's 0 0.1 it's actually um it, it got to be one now let me place it to one and let's see what's gonna happen so when we have it at one you see we have just a tiny guy here and we're just gonna play um let me get into the camera and 
which is actually going to play our animation so you see our animation here so i can just play it and you can see but this time we are not simulating so the clothes are not simulating okay so for the cloth to be simulated what we have to do is we will have to toggle on i am the simulation start simulating the game now this is it when i toggle it on you can see yeah that's it now when you try to play it it will get some problems you see what's going on now this is actually happening because it's actually moving too fast and i believe it's because it cannot actually calculate what's actually going on so i believe that's why we have the problem that that problem so to actually solve this problem we will have to let our meta human go slow so that is why i will click and i'll go to properties and under um play rate i will set it to 0.1 okay so now at point 0.1 of course it's gonna be a slow animation don't forget that but it is gonna simulate the cloth so i will actually press play And let me just get into it. Oh, I'm just taking it backwards. Maybe just get into it a little bit. And go back a little bit. Okay, so now when I press the play button, it's actually gonna simulate in a slow mo form. You get it? So this is how it is gonna be so you can actually get your cloth simulating with the meta human so this is how it's gonna be just like that okay so since you have this trick now after you are done what you are gonna face it is you are gonna actually have an um, a tremendous amount of frames which is actually gonna move slow so this is how you are going to solve it so to solve it we will have to jump into any video editing application you have actually i'm gonna use davinci resolve so in um, davinci resolve i will uh i will just drop in the um the render that i just made so i will drop in this one here okay so i just dropped in my animation and i will just bring in my animation into the timeline and when i play it you realize it's actually moving slow so what i'm gonna do is just simple i'll just um right click and i'll go to change clip speed and i'll set it to something like thousand maybe three hundred all right so when i play it i actually have it like this okay so let me play it again yeah so you see th that's cool okay so that's how i actually did it with the meta human okay so um again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to hit the comment section if you have any problems just let me know and peace love y'all stay blessed i'm out